Okay, missives. Um, I'm sure it's a phrase I've used in previous pieces that we've uh, recorded. What, what are missives? Um, <clears throat> missives are just the, the, the word that we use in Scots law for the letters which make up the contracts. <clears throat> Excuse me, frog in the throat. Um, yeah, so what the missives are the offer that goes in, the written acceptance that comes back from the selling solicitor, there may be another letter to go back to that solicitor and so on and so forth until the parties reach what we call consensus and then that then at that point is a contract. Now <clears throat> one thing that we find especially with our English clients is that they're very very keen to put pen to paper and to sign things. The disappointing news is if you're looking to sign lots of things when you're buying and selling a property is that you won't. Um, as a the missives are dealt with by the solicitors. So in a, a, a buying and selling situation, the client, purchaser or seller, are the principals and the solicitors are what is, what is known as the agents. It's a relationship of agency. So what I do on behalf of my clients is deemed to have been done with their full knowledge and instructions and is therefore legally binding upon them. So it's the solicitors who sign the, the, the missives and it is the solicitors on behalf of their clients who tie up the contracts. And as I say, English clients especially find that to be uh, both a bit strange and a bit disappointing because they're used to putting pen to paper themselves uh, when they exchange contracts as they call it. So it's very important during the missive situation and any solicitor worth his salt will be you know, stressing this to his client, but it's very important that you realise that what you tell your solicitor to do, if he goes ahead and does it, you could be legally bound by it and you might not be able to change, the, change your mind. So before missives are tied up for purchase of a property, for example, you've got to be sure 100% you want to buy it, you're never going to change your mind. Two, that you've got the means with which to buy it, that um, you know, your, your um, mortgage is in place, and that three, uh, you've got your own uh, personal deposit in place. So that, that's missives. I say the, the formal term that we use in Scotland for the letters that make up the contracts for buying and selling property.